Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, proxy design pattern implementation using uh, virtual proxy. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, proxy design pattern introduction, proxy design pattern class diagram, proxy design pattern sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly. Okay. And uh, this is explanation of uh, virtual proxy. I will just read out. A virtual proxy is a placeholder for objects which are expensive to create. Okay. Uh, the real object is only created when a client first uh, requests or access the object. So we will see one example so that you will understand uh, this one clearly. So on the right side you can see a uh, system A and uh, it has a uh, line object which is 100 MB and uh, left side you can see client. And in between uh, the system A and uh, the client, we have system B, which acts as a virtual proxy. Okay. Suppose say uh, the client send uh, display line image uh, request to the system B, which is virtual proxy. And uh, what virtual proxy will do is, first it will check and the real image object is there in the virtual proxy. Now if you see this one, it is not there. So what this virtual proxy will do is, it will create the real image object and it loads the line image from the disk. Okay. Then it will uh, call the display line image uh, method in the real uh, image object. Okay. And also this virtual proxy will uh, hold the real image object which is uh, created in the first step. Okay. So this uh, First step you are seeing now, create a real object and load the line image from the disk, which is costly uh, operation, which is uh, expensive operation. Okay, This object creation is expensive. Suppose, uh, so this is the first time, right? Suppose say, uh, second time this uh, display line image request is coming from the client to the virtual proxy. So now, what virtual proxy will do is it will check uh, it has already uh, real image object. So now if you see that one it is there right. Uh, because uh, we have created this uh, costly real image object in the first request. So what this virtual proxy will do is it won't create the real image object again and uh, load the line image from the disk. So it will avoid this first step. Okay. So it will use this existing uh, real image object and it will just to call the display line image uh, method. Okay, so in this way we can uh, avoid uh, to create the expensive uh, objects again and again. Okay, so only one time uh, the real object will be created. So this is the best example of uh, virtual proxy. Uh, we will see how we can uh, do class diagram of uh, this particular uh, scenario. Okay, uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have just seen. Uh, so in the top you can see image interface. It has a display image uh, abstract method. This image interface has implemented by two concrete classes. The first class is proxy image. The second class is real image. So both of the classes provide implementation of display image method which is there in the image interface. So you can see a display image method in the proxy image uh, class. Also you can see uh, display image method in the real image uh, class. Suppose uh, client wants to display some image, then client will uh, call uh, display image method in the proxy image. So what this display image method will do is, it will check uh, real image uh, object is null or not. If it is null, then it will create the real image object then it will call the display image uh, method in the real image uh, object. Okay. Suppose uh, real image object is not null, then uh, it won't create the new real image object. Uh, it will use the existing uh, real image object and call the display image uh, method. Okay. So creating uh, real image object is a costly operation because uh, when you call uh, real image uh, uh, object uh, constructor using this uh, file name, 
it will uh, load the image from the disk so which is very costly okay uh, so to avoid uh, this kind of uh, uh, creating uh, expensive object uh, we can use uh, this virtual proxy so i think you understand this class diagram uh, now we will see the code in eclipse Okay, I have opened the Eclipse. Uh, now we will see the code. So, here we have uh, image interface and uh, that image interface is implemented by two concrete classes, proxy image and the real image, right? So, I will open this uh, Java classes and I will show you the code. So, we have uh, interface image and it has uh, display image method which is abstract method and I am opening uh, real image.java so this uh, real image uh, class uh, which implements uh, image interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, display image okay and uh, it has a constructor real image uh, constructor which accept uh, file name and uh, the constructor itself uh, it will uh, load the image from the disk okay and uh, proxy image class which implements uh, image interface provide implementation of uh, display image okay and uh, so what this display image will do is it will check the real image uh, object is uh, null if it is null then it will create the real image object and then it will call the real image object uh, display image method if it is uh, not null then it won't create the real image object it will use the existing uh, real image object and it will call the uh, display image method of the real image object okay and uh, this is the client code uh, i will just run this one and i will show you the output so we are trying to display the uh, image first time okay first we are trying to display the dog uh, image so first time uh, uh, what it will do is it will uh, load that uh, uh, picture and then it will uh, display if you see the second time and third time uh, it won't uh, load the picture you can see that you can see this loading high resolution 100 MB dog photo which is missing in uh, second time and third time right so like that uh, image 2 which is uh, line image only first time uh, it is loading the high resolution uh, 100 MB line uh, line photo and uh, then it is displaying the high resolution 100 MB line photo second time it is just displaying that uh, line photo it is not loading that uh, line uh, photo okay so using this virtual proxy we can avoid uh, to create the costly uh, objects so this is the best example of uh, virtual proxy um, I think you understood this virtual proxy clearly and uh, I have put together all this uh, uh, code in my blog called RamJT you can just visit uh, my, this site and uh, you can get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, proxy design pattern implementation uh, using virtual proxy and thanks for watching bye